could your job be replaced by artificial intelligence? You know, a lot of jobs that are that currently exist, won't exist in the future. Entire classes of jobs will go away and not come back. 10 to 15 years, about 40 to 50% of all jobs would be replaced by AI. AI is going to replace you. You must have heard by now. After all, the number two bank in the world says AI is going to replace 300 million jobs. But what if I told you it was all a lie? What if I told you that AI could make you more money than you could ever possibly have dreamed of? Because in reality, AI is actually a massive opportunity. It's helping people with big ideas not just keep their jobs, but actually to grow their earnings and build wealth faster than ever before. There'll be two types of people. There'll be people that are leveraging out of AI and there'll be people that do not exist. And the key figure in this revolution is this guy, Sam Altman. He is the mastermind behind OpenAI, the company that built ChatGPT, and he knows exactly where AI is going and how fast it's going to get there. The world had like a two week freak out with GPT-4, right? This changes everything. AGI is coming tomorrow. Jo there are no jobs by the end of the year. And now people are like, why is it so slow? <laughs> so if you want to avoid being replaced by a machine and even profit from this massive shift, then you really need to pay attention because I'm gonna show you everything Sam has revealed about AI's future. So stick around if you want a clear plan to benefit from AI. Otherwise, brace yourself because AI is not waiting for anyone. The first thing to realize is that Sam expects AGI or Artificial General Intelligence to arrive this year. He said it will probably be developed during this president's term and most of the obstacles to getting there are technical challenges now rather than fundamental shifts in capabilities. It's not science fiction anymore, it's science fact. And so what does that mean for you? It means you need to stay up to date. You need to be following all of the news announcements that are happening because it's coming faster than you think. And general intelligence means it's gonna be able to do pretty much anything. All of that being said, Sam has also made the point that the term itself, AGI, is actually gonna be more and more difficult to define as time goes on. Is it AGI or is it not? I think that became too coarse as we get closer. Because once the AI starts rivaling human capabilities, which it already is in many different domains, we're going to find it difficult to put those real true benchmarks in place that put it up against human beings. Sam says that there are going to be some truly astonishing capabilities coming down the pipe this year. And frankly, there already are lots of astonishing capabilities. So hold on to your hats. So what does this mean for you? The most important thing is that you need to be ready to pivot quickly. You may have been doing the same job for the last 10 years. You may be really good at that job. You need to be ready for an AI to be better than you at your job. And you need to be ready to hook on to whatever tool it is that gets better than you at your job. And you need to learn how to maximize your utility using those AI tools. Because if you don't somebody else will. Sam also says that super intelligence, i.e. intelligence that's vastly beyond human capabilities, is probably thousands of days away. Super intelligence is actually thousands of days away. Maybe. I mean, that's our hope, yeah. I guess, whatever. But that's a very wild statement. Yeah. Um, Tell us about well, it. Kind of a scary thought, but not if you are one of the ones who is on top of this technology. AI is, after all, still just a tool. It's not a person with wants and desires and needs. It's there to serve people. So if you're one of the people it's serving, this can catapult your own capabilities beyond anything that you can imagine right now. There are going to be breakthroughs in medicine, in science, in space travel. All of these things are possible, and you don't really need to be a a huge expert in any of them to get involved anymore. So what this means for you is that you can explore growth areas and get up to speed really quickly without having to spend 10 years learning how to do something. So have an optimistic outlook. This could be the best thing that ever happened to you and the rest of us. Then in terms of AI's impact on society more generally, Sam has a lot to say. He published a blog entitled The Intelligence Age in which he went through all of the different ways that he thinks AI is going to transform our world. Firstly, he believes that all of us in the near future are going to have our own team of AI agents working on our behalf doing all sorts of tasks. Now you can actually get quite close to that right now. You can build out many different workflows for all of the things that you do day to day and get AI to run them on automation. Make sure you follow this channel if you want more ideas and tips on how to build out those automations that can make your life easier. Sam also talks about the education space. He believes that every child is going to have their own personal AI tutor and there are many companies that are building this capability already. In healthcare there are going to be personalized doctors 
and AI driven analytics, looking at all of the data coming out of each of our bodies when we get tested for things that are going to be able to come to conclusions that human doctors just don't have the mental capacity to calculate. This is a very good thing for basically everyone. And as I've mentioned before, Sam really believes that things like space colonization and climate change, big challenges of our time are really going to make huge strides in the years to come. Life is about to get pretty freaky and hopefully pretty good in the near future. And so what about ethics? There are ethical considerations around AI and there are going to have to be laws made for AI that we're all going to have to think about. Sam is a big believer in context specific regulation so he thinks different types of AI are going to have to be regulated differently and so there's going to have to be specific laws for specific use cases. So for me what this says to anybody watching is that there's a lot of opportunity in whatever area you happen to know a lot about to develop AI into a space but also to work on the regulatory side. There's going to have to be lots of smart people thinking about how we regulate these AIs as they grow in capability. That could be you and if you think about what I've already said about getting upskilled in different areas really quickly actually you might start to realize that there's a whole world of opportunity there for many 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 different people to understand how these AIs deploy in the real world and how we make best use of them. Places like healthcare and infrastructure and government are going to be super super important so if you're working in one of those places you really should be thinking about how your world is going to change and how you can be at the forefront of that change powered by AI. So finally how can we wrap this up how can we package all of these ideas into an attitude and a kind of checklist of things that you should be thinking about in order to maximize in order that you can profit from the AI revolution rather than being replaced in any way. Well the first thing as I've already said is to make sure that you're ready to pivot at a moment's notice. AI capabilities are growing fast there is a good chance that there's going to be an AI that's going to be better than you at whatever it is you do pretty soon but there are going to have to be people working out how to deploy that capability in the real world and figuring out how it's governed. So you should be thinking with an agile kind of mindset to figure out how you can be the best person at the forefront of that change. The most important thing for you to do is stay ahead of the curve. Understand what's coming down the pipe and how you can best adapt to it. So make sure that you follow this channel so that you can be kept up to date with all the latest news in AI automation and workflows so that you don't get left behind. That's it from me. I'll see you next time.